Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joe and welcome to a brand new video. So yesterday, CSGO dropped an update. This update included the Prisma case which has 17 new weapon skins in it. Today, I'm going to be going through each of the new weapons from the case, showing them in-game and just giving my opinions on them. If you are new around here, I have started doing CSGO videos a bit more frequently and I plan to do more in the future. So if you want to see more CSGO type videos, then uh, do be sure to subscribe. And if you're an old subscriber from around here worried that I'm going to quit TF2, you don't need to worry about that either. There will be a TF2 video out later today. But this case genuinely has some amazing skins and I'm most likely going to be doing an unboxing on it when the cases go down in price a bit. But yeah man, without further ado, we can just get straight into the first skin of the case. So the first skin in the case is this MP7 Mischief. And when I initially saw this, I didn't even realise what the graphic was actually supposed to be. But as you can see, it's this like... Teethy mischievous, I suppose you could say, because the skin name is Mischief Smile, um, on this red canvas. And initially, I just thought it was like some sort of graffiti pattern, but it is actually this sort of like mouth with sharp teeth. It looks like it could belong to like a shark or something like that. And yeah, man, just overall, it's quite a uh, intimidating skin. I do like the colours on it a lot as well. However, this one that I'm inspecting right now is minimal wear, and this skin does not come in factory new. Up next, we have this P90 Off-World that's essentially just like an one solid coating of blue paint. However, if you look closely, there's actually things engraved into it, such as the word toxic, ace king, and other things like that. This kind of reminds me, I'm going to be honest here, this kind of reminds me of like a bathroom wall or like a, a bathroom stool. Maybe something at like a school where people are writing on it. That's the kind of vibes I get from this skin. However, I do think the shade of blue itself is very nice and all the things engraved into it are really nice touches. Up next, we have the skin for the P250 called the Verdigris. And essentially, I think the vibes I get from this is that it's some sort of cheap metal, presumably copper, and it looks oxidized. And the description for the skin itself actually says the green drips are the result of its copper base being exposed to the elements. So that looks exactly like what's happened. It's essentially, it used to be completely copper and then as time went on it started to go green due to kind of being exposed to um, the water and stuff like that. But I do think this is a really nice skin. I think it would be really cool if as it progressively got more and more battle scarred, it got gradually more and more green. But that unfortunately isn't the case. Up next we have this Famous skin, the Famous Crypsis, and this is a really cool skin. At a first glance, it just looks like autumn leaves on, like, tree branches, right? But the more you look at it, it's actually, like, stick insects underneath, as you can see, um, painted with a randomised insect pattern in autumn colours. So, although it does initially appear like just autumn leaves on branches, it's actually stick insects lurking under there, which I think is a really nice touch. I think this is a super basic skin, but I think the little detailing of the leaves and the insect is really nice and the color scheme is really nice although relatively kind of dulled down and not too flashy this is just a really cool skin i love the graphic and the concept of this this next skin is the Galil Akaben, and it says a rust coloured pattern has been spray painted over a white base. I initially just thought this was like a zebra print Galil, it's like a fairly standard thing, but what's really interesting is as this skin gets more and more worn and progresses towards Battle Scarred, it almost looked like the rust is eating away at the skin and the paint job, and it's slowly reverting back to a stock Galil, which I think is a really unique and nice feature. Although it's not exactly the most flashy and nicer looking of skins it's definitely more on that cheaper lower tier end of the spectrum up next we have what i believe is going to be one of the cheapest skins in the case however it's really nice is this mac 10 white fish it's just a plain mac 10 that's got these like fish scales running across the top of it which i think is really nice in itself however it's also got like the bones and tail region around the mag which i think is a really nice touch as well if you look it's like a complete skeleton of a fish which i just think is a really nice touch as well like overall although this skin isn't flashy it's just painted over the stock mac 10 it's really nice and really simple but effective in the way it's done this ak-47 uncharted is the last blue of the case it's meant to be like a wooden ak that's got these kind of like engraved patterns in it when i initially saw this it kind of reminded me of the wasteland rebel in the sense that it is wooden and it's got these patterns on it but yeah once you take a closer look you can see especially around the barrel and the front region it's all engraved and as the light reflects you do kind of start to see that i think the patterns themselves are great as well it just strikes me as very tribal i guess would be the right word 
So for the first purple grade item from the case, we're going to be looking at the Tech 9 Bamboozle. And this is probably one of my favourite items in the case. It's this Tech 9 and it's got this complete green coating, right? And it's meant to replicate a bamboo shoot. And if you look at like the segmentations at the top of the Tech 9, it's very similar to how, once again, a bamboo stick does look. And also on the mag as well, you've got this like inside of like a tree texture this kind of almost wooden texture which i just think is such a nice touch like the amount of detailing in this skin is crazy and i really do like it up next is the mp5 gorse and it kind of reminds me of like the orb phobos and other various skins of that theme in the sense that it reminds me of something you'd see inside a spaceship in a sci-fi film you know it's got this like um stamped steel design as it says in the description and just overall it looks very constructed it looks very almost like man-made i guess you could say and i don't know i'm i'm not a huge fan of this kind of concept but you can appreciate like and all the textures around the different parts of the gun i'm just not a huge fan of that kind of theme up next we have quite possibly my favorite skin of the case which is the ump 45 moonrise skin now obviously this isn't the only Moonrise skin in the game, there is the Glock Moonrise, and this skin is a bit similar, however you can actually see it's got this like city skyline as well, which I just think is such a nice touch. The colours on this skin go absolutely crazy, especially in the light as you can see, that purple almost becomes like a pink when it's got the light on it. I just think everything about this skin is amazing man. I'm definitely going to be picking this one up to use. Up next we have the Desert Eagle Light Rail, and this is quite an interesting skin, as you can see as it goes around it's got these like slits going down the side of it and around the top of it as well that almost make it look like it's got holes in the skin itself but as you can see in the description it's custom paint job creates an optical illusion which is really interesting it's a really interesting concept for a skin but i definitely think it's really interesting to look at in game as well it definitely would end up being quite distracting for me i think up next we've got what i believe is going to be a fan favorite skin being the orb atheris i could be saying that wrong but essentially it's got this like snake weaving in and out of the skin and my favorite thing about this skin is if you look on the scope not only does it have like snake scales around the scope but the ring on the front and back side of the scope is both green as well which i just think looks really nice especially with the detailing of the scales on the scope i just think this skin as a whole is great i love the detailing of the snake i love the graphic behind the snake as well i think the colors are great the green of the snake really bounces off that kind of like dark gray almost black color behind it everything about this skin is great man i can't wait to see how much this is and i may even pick it up once again for the personal collection up next, we have the first pink of the case being the XM1014 Incinegator. And I'm not really too sure, like what the thought process was behind the concept of the skin as you can see it's got like an alligator's mouth and it's breathing out fire down the whole of the skin i think it's a really cool concept don't get me wrong i'm just not sure how they quite came up with it um it's a cool skin no one really uses the xm so i don't think we'll see it used a lot and i think it will be relatively cheap maybe one that people will use in trade-ups i don't know man it's, it's a nice skin but I wouldn't necessarily use it, and I think that's partially due to the gun itself. Up next, we have the Org Momentum. I really like this skin. It feels quite futuristic to me, but as you can see, it's got, like, a red tip, the handles, and the bottom of the mags also, like, this pinkish red, and it fades into, like, a dark blue, and as you can see around the back of the skin, there's a bunch of, like, forward-facing arrows that gradually fade into a lighter blue and almost a red as well. I think the colours of this skin are fantastic. The design itself... I'm not too sure. I don't know what the kind of theme with the arrows is. It's quite intriguing to me. But yeah, I think the colours themselves are fantastic. It's a very flashy skin. It stands out a lot. And it's definitely up there with my more preferred org skins. Up next, and the last pink grade skin of the case, we have the R8 Revolver Skull Crusher. This skin kind of reminds me of the Galil Chatterbox. Especially around the back, as you can see, we've got these, like, white markings all around the skin actually i really like the knock knock graphic that's kind of like engraved into the skin behind the barrel as well this is just a really cool skin it's a shame i don't really use the r8 but i think the graphic itself i think everything about it even like the kind of flame graphic on the the revolving part i guess is what it's called i don't know it's a nice skin for sure i feel like it's going to be one of those skins where everyone loves it or everyone hates it now onto the first red of the case and the the, the skin that i think is definitely going to be up there with the most expensive if we have the m4a4 emperor 
everything about this skin is crazy man the graphic in the middle is amazing i especially think that all the different colors in this skin are fantastic as well i love the shades of blue we get this like deep blue around the barrel and it kind of fades into a light around the middle I, d I definitely think like the way the graphic of the emperor so to speak in the middle is kind of like surrounded by this orange circle with things spiraling out of it just the amount of little details in the skin is absolutely insane. This is definitely going to be probably the most expensive skin in the case, man. I love it. And the final skin of the case, we have the 5-7 Angry Mob. This is quite an interesting skin. As you can see, it says in the description that it's inspired by street art. And it definitely does kind of like remind me of like a graffiti kind of style. With all the kind of animals on the left hand side of the skin. I do think that the colours on the skin go absolutely crazy, like the colours of all the animals contrast each other fantastically and that blue colour on the top with the red stripes just looks fantastic. This is a great skin once again, one of definitely up there with the top 5-7 skins in my opinion. But guys that is just about it for this video, if you did enjoy then please do remember to leave a like and let me know your thoughts down below and if you'd like to see more videos like this and general gaming content do be sure to subscribe. Thanks again so much for watching guys and peace.